Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Epic Realist. I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about spiritual abuse. And then some of you guys are like, what the fuck spiritual abuse? What the hell do you mean by that? Let me get, let me explain a bit. Spiritual abuse is alive and real. It goes on with people every day. It goes on in families every day. People do these things to their kids every day. And a lot of them don't realize it, you know? You know? Sometimes I don't like talking about generational type things, but the boomer generation has a bad, bad habit of portraying spiritual abuse on people. A lot of them have done that to their kids, myself included, my husband included, a lot of other people I know included. Now what I mean by spiritual abuse is, if you grew up in a religious family, think about it, if you grew up in a religious family, whether you were Christian, Service Day Adventist, Jehovah's Witness, any of those factions, or even Muslim, if you were any of those factions, or something else similar to it. You might know what I'm talking about. If you grew up in any of those factions and you had a questionable childhood, then you know what I'm talking about. If you grew up in any of those factions and your childhood was full of fear all the time as far as you gotta be good or else. Gotta be good or else. If you lived like that as a child, then you've been through spiritual abuse. You've been spiritually abused and you probably don't even know it. Mm -mm. Spiritual mm -mm. abuse is basically the act of scaring someone into doing what you want them to do using a religion. I know that was a mouthful, but think about it. Scaring someone into doing what you want them to do using religion. Now again, if you've been raised in a religious home, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you had a not so good experience being raised in that religious home, then you know what I'm talking about. If you've had parents who constantly scared you into, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, or you're going to hell, you know what I'm talking about. Now you might look at that and be like, well that's not really abuse, that's just Eh, this is how I grew up, you know, my parents, you know, they were good parents, and you know, they just trying to get me on track. <sighs> no, you're delusional. A lot of you guys have been through spiritual abuse, and like I said, you don't even know it. Because it was normal to you. It was natural to you. It was natural to your parents. It was natural to your family. It was natural to your siblings. To go through a childhood where you're literally scared out of your wits every day to do certain things, it's literally child abuse. Literally. Have you ever thought about that? Like, do you not think it was abusive for such and such person to tell you, Oh, you can't do that. You're going, or you're going to hell. You can't do that. God won't love you anymore. Satan's going to get you. That devil's going to get you if you let him. He's going to drag you straight to hell the moment you do A, B, C, D type thing. Think about that. Do you really think that's healthy? For anybody, do you really think that's healthy for a child to be going through every day? Some of y'all don't realize that, but that is spiritual abuse. That is, that's unhealthy child rearing. Now, for those of you who believe in God and you say that God is your father, think about it. God is your, your father, your heavenly father. He says he loves you. Why the hell would he send you to hell for, let's say, um, skipping school, or not being faithful at your job, or just anything of the sort, sinning, basically. Why would he so-called send you to hell for sinning if he claims he loves you? So that's the one thing I don't even understand about God or the Bible or any of those religious factions. I don't understand any of it. If this so-called God loves you to death, to where he literally would do anything for you, why are we being threatened with hell? Hmm? 
Why are we being threatened that we, we're not worthy of going to heaven? Because we've sinned too much. We've sinned too much. We have to pray too much to get all the sin off of us that we're not worthy. We gotta pray and we gotta bow and we gotta scream and we gotta cry our eyeballs out to this God every single day because we've sinned so much and we're not worthy of being in his presence because we haven't prayed hard enough and we haven't done all these things to appease him. God, Allah, Yahweh, whoever you call on. Muhammad, whoever, it don't matter. Buddha, all of them. It doesn't matter. Well, actually, te technically, Buddha is not really... Um, Buddhists are not really included in this, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The cultish religions. You know? The Western religions. If you grew up in a part of any of that, and you can relate to what I'm saying, there literally is a thing called spiritual abuse. See, people are coming out more and talking about these things regarding religion. And it's true. It's very much true. There is such a thing as spiritual abuse. I've been through it. You know how many times my mom told me, you're going to hell because you're not doing the ABC th do D thing? Well, you're going to hell if you talk to a boy. You're going to hell if you get pregnant. You're going to hell if you do this and you do that. And you better not. And you know, that's that's also generational abuse because her mom probably told her that and her grandmother and other people around her told her that. So how long are we gonna continue this generational train? Do you not realize what you're doing? You're putting fear in your child. You are putting so much fear in your child. See, as a child you don't realize you don't fully realize it. You just think, okay, well my parents told me I gotta be good because you know God loves me and I have to obey him regardless of what. And I'm just going to keep being, being him all my life and blah, blah, blah. There's a child that you're not really thinking much of it. But when you get, when you get older, you start looking side-eyed like, wait a minute, why was I scared shitless of half the stuff that I was doing as a child? Why was I pressured and anxious? Why? Why is that even necessary? You know, that's bullshit. That is spiritual abuse. That, my friends, is spiritual abuse and like I said most of you probably don't even realize it but again it's a growing trend online and it's true I mean I've heard lots of people tell their stories and it's the same type of thing the same type of thing stop putting fear into your kids if your parents did it to you and you noticed that you're doing it the same to your kids please stop please stop before it's too late that is fucking brainwashing. Do not brainwash your child that some ghost is going to come throw them in the pits of, of fiery doom. That's ridiculous. Why would you even want to tell a child that? Why would you put the fear of a fiery hell pit on a five-year-old? Like, come on. Think about what you're doing, people. Don't just do shit because you were brought up that way. Think about it. Think about that before you go on to spreading stuff and you mess up your child because what you're doing you're subconsciously putting fear in them you're putting anxiety in their heart and they walk around saying oh, I can't be bad I can't be bad I can't, I can't disappoint my parents I can't disappoint God or I'm going to hell for all eternity what the fuck like come on think people we're in 2020 we're, we're, we need to rise above that like come on seriously I know this stuff still exists, but like I said, please be aware of it. Try not to do the same thing. If you're in any of those factions yourself, and you are currently putting that on your children, please watch what you're doing. You don't realize the harm you're putting on them is spiritual abuse. Yeah, like I said, there is such a thing. When I first heard it, I was baffled myself until I really looked at the symptoms. And I really looked at what people were saying, and it all equals up to the same thing. You're terrified. You're being patronized. You are deathly afraid of going to hell, doing your everyday activities. Because God said you won't go to hell if you don't read the Bible a certain way. Well, you don't pray before you eat. Well, you don't pray before you go to sleep. Well, you don't do your homework properly. Well, you don't obey your mom and dad and all this other stuff. Come on. I remember when I was young, I was scared shitless of going to hell. 
I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was, I was scared shitless. I did not want to go to hell. I, I, I even wrote a book as a child about it. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can find that. 